I feel like I have this urgency to get the message out there to somehow do my mission and like I know and feel now is the only time so there's no need to rush and there are so many levels and realities and dimensions to everything so in a sense there's no need to rush because everything just is right but at the same time if we live in this reality here and now we do get certain chances in life and there is one sort of a framework which we have a time and we have a time to do things and then you jump out of that understanding again and you say well yeah there's you know you will always get a new chance here and now is the place to be and to do what we need to do this sense of urgency if you are suffering in your life or if something in your life isn't the way it could be something is out of alignment like what I have witnessed the last few weeks in terms of stress the amount of stress people around me has been inside is it's like a whole pandemic of stress and sometimes I think it is a total loop. It's like we've been, it's almost like that old cassette tape and you gotten stuck in a loop and it's just like rewind, rewind, rewind. And you kind of just have to take a step out of it and take a deep breath and being like, man, what am I inside? When you are so stuck inside of it, it is very hard to see it from the outside or it is very hard to take a step out of it. And I see so many people and I have been there myself a lot of the times stuck in, so stuck in the system, so stuck in the, you know, like I know people that, that wake up 4 a.m. in the morning to be at work at 6 a.m. to hustle all day. And it's not a work where you can kind of like check your phone or listen to an inspirational podcast, but you have to be there present, go home, pick their kids up, then come home, make dinner, maybe go to a grocery store, buy dinner. And then at 6 p.m. it start. it's the nighttime routine again, and then it's bedtime. And this is just what's happening day in and day out, day in and day out, because it's just such a struggle with money and it's such a stress but if i think about it if people had money that wouldn't be the same thing on the other side too if that is the loop that you're in regardless of what situation you get into you will find something else to stress about you will find somewhere still to be in that loop and that's why it always comes down to, sounds cliche, but looking at inside of ourselves and what is there, what is being asked of me right now. If I am in suffering, if I am out of alignment, if I have allergies or if I am sick, something in the body is screaming at you, look at me, listen to me. You are not a lot of the time gonna be able to cure that with covering up the symptoms with some new intervention eventually the cause of that the root of that has to be looked at and if it isn't by you it's gonna be by someone else in the coming generation so uh, that sounds kind of, oh man, that doesn't sound too fun. That sounds like a lot of work and sounds like, whoa, he maybe a little bit heavy. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. It can be exciting. It could be light. It could be a, a more hopeful for the future. It could be like, wow, 
I want something else for my children. I want a new reality for them. I want a new way of living or perhaps a very ancient old way of living. The other day I was sitting in the forest and I took out my recording equipment because I like to be outside in nature and sing. I mean, I like to sing everywhere, but um, it just felt so divinely guided. And as I was finishing up, I went to go and say bye to my brother and we actually saw some wolf uh, footsteps in the snow. And the wolf, I like to say, is my spirit animal. The wolf is the kind of sign that I see when I need to know something, when I need to remember something, when I need to be guided. I have many, many beautiful stories of the wolf. And I saw those paw prints in the snow and it was so special. It was in synchronicity, something was in flow. And I believe that we are meant to live that way. That is a part of life. Now, I believe that we shouldn't have to suffer in life. With that being said, I do understand that at times, suffering and pain and hurt can be tools in which we learn, in which we wake up a little deeper. But I don't think that it has to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. I think that if we are aware of things and if we consciously say, yes, I'm ready to learn the lessons in my life. I'm ready to see the truth. I am ready to do what work that is being asked of me in a kind and gentle way, that's the kind of guidance that we will get. I like to believe that if we don't listen, I think it's harder and we're gonna run, we're gonna exhaust ourselves, we're going to be stressed, maybe get sick, whatever, if we simply refuse to listen. It's almost like the game of life. And I have learned a lot the hard way. I have had such painful things happening to me in life, which I'm sure a lot of you might have as well. But when I kind of got the wake up call, just like, whoa, it's, I, I don't like I don't like it this way. I'm going to listen. What is it that I can change here? Do I need to look at something in myself? Yeah. Sometimes I just... It comes down to knowing our own worth. Honestly. If I had known my worth earlier in life and learned that, I feel like... I would have skipped out on a lot of suffering and the suffering kind of taught me my worth some of the times. I was actually watching, what is it called? I was actually watching the Swedish Love is Blind. I, I kind of feel a little bit embarrassed of saying that because I don't usually watch a lot of TV. I am very cautious of what I consume and what I let my mind watch and be inspired by but I watched it and it was so fascinating I would love to do like a whole analysis I, I'm so passionate about couples work as well like analysis of just like one couple and how the dynamic is and just seeing like oh man because this happened to this person as a child and because that was the understanding of how they grew up, they now act like this in relationship. And because this person doesn't know their worthiness, they're totally 
letting people cross their boundaries or this person doesn't know how to be honest with themselves and therefore they let something prolong like go on for way too long that should could have been just like cut off right away and that could have been not the suffering in that sense and I mean I I say that in the utmost respect and the utmost love I have a lot of compassion for every human in life really every human on this planet and I just thought it was so fascinating to watch that because I hadn't watched it in so long but I just saw the patterns and I saw some of the things in my life that I had been through and which I now have learned to navigate a little bit better I'm still learning I'm not saying that I know better than they and that's why they are in that situation. I'm not at all saying that. I just find it so fascinating to look at humans at and see things truly. Ooh, yeah, sometimes we just need to stop, get quiet, listen to our inner truth and be brave to follow that truth no matter if it goes against someone else's belief or truth. We have such a herd mentality as humans too. So let me show you this. I was out the other day driving and it was a lot of snow on the parking lot and so I came to the parking lot and I just kind of took a mental note like aha there are no lines in this in this parking lot because it's covered in snow so you kind of have to use your mind to park wherever you see fit right I, I remember taking a mental note and then when I came back to the parking lot all of the cars that had now arrived had parked exactly next to each other like this how come the second car didn't park somewhere else? Or the third car parked somewhere else? Or the fourth car parked somewhere else? I just find things like this to be so interesting. The mind, the people behavior of how people work. I, I live for this. I live for a lot of things. <laughs> but this is one of my great passions. And I filmed this, so I will show you. This is a parking lot. You kind of have to use your own mind to figure out where's the lines? Where do I park? <laughs> It's so funny, I just got back to the car and I showed you the parking lot in the beginning, how it's covered with snow and now look at this, the cars are lining up next to each other. It's kind of sweet, we like to be next to each other and it's also a little bit of herd mentality. What? would happen in life I, I i think that i'm combining a lot of different subjects now that kind of goes hand in hand in a sense but what would happen if the second person didn't do what the first person did and if that was okay what if ha you know what if all four would have had different sides to the parking lot what if you know what if they parked next to each other doesn't matter. We like to be next to each other as, as humans. It's cute, right? But I have seen so many examples of this where it's just go good to pave your own path in a sense. And who's going to be the first one to speak up? Who's going to be the first one who does something? Who's going to be, be the brave one? I've been watching... I've seen these videos where there's a lot of people that are looking at one color and then there's an experiment so the first person who's an actor says that it's different color the second person says it's a different the same color that the first person 
the third person says it's the same color, and then the person that's not an actor actually says that it's that color they say, but it's very obvious it's a different color. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just going on a long rant, but I think I'm just gonna allow myself to upload this. It doesn't always have to be so proper. <laughs> Truth. Truth is so fascinating. It's almost like what I see today is that people, some people, some of us, humanity doesn't have the capacity to hold someone else's truth it's almost like they think as if this brain this mind is the only way i know life and therefore because i only know this way of life this is the only way that exists that is why it is so important to understand other humans under pe other people with other walks of life i've had the honor to channel things in my life and through that i i kind of learned like oh wow feeling like this is so different than what i usually operate from wow you know if if you channel a certain person or I am a very sensitive being so if I can be close to someone I often feel their energy I often feel what's going on in other people and through that I have learned to feel it's still a process again but through that I've learned to, f to that different people can feel so vastly different and having the empathy and having the ability to kind of put yourself into other people's shoes or to put yourself in other people's, you know, state of mind and understanding where do they come from? How can they think something like that? That's a really beautiful tool to have in today's world. And I guess that's also what's called a democracy. We are individuals. We are different kind of flowers. We are, it sounds a little cheesy, but we truly are. We are different. We come from different walks of life. We have different experiences. And at the end of the day, we're also so similar. We just want to feel loved and supported. And, and again, that comes down to worthiness. One time I had a vision and I saw this big squid and it was almost like the consciousness of humani humanity was this squid. And with all their experiences and the squid have different like arms, like different tentacles and from each arm there were even more tentacles or arms or whatever you call it and there were like little consciousnesses if that makes any sense ow my memory card got full but now i am inside and i can show you on my little whiteboard how this consciousness of humanity could be described and basically it looks like a big squid so it has its arms like this something like that right i hope you can see and for each arm there are even smaller arms going out of it so it has smaller arms smaller arms smaller arms and from these little small arms out of the arm, there are even more like this, like this. And like from these smaller ones, there are even smaller ones and smaller ones. And they're going out everywhere. And then it was almost like as if humanity was in like each little thing 
So here's the person, here's the person, here's the person, here's the person, here's the person. Over here is a person and over here is a person. Which means like basically this is just moving and morphing, right? It's moving like this and in the grand scheme of things it is all attached to the same thing. It's all attached to the same being or in this case it is a being but who knows. So it is all the same like they say we are all one uh, but at the same time it's also so very very vastly different depending on from what side of these tentacles that you choose to look at the world and what your experiences and what has happened for you so naturally we're gonna have very very different experiences but kind of what i wanted to go back to being one one little dot on this whole thing that has like billions and billions of dots and being one little dot and to say this is the right thing or this is the right way or this is how it is it's just mind-boggling like the audacity <laughs> i you know I was gonna say I can't understand that but at the same time I I like to put myself into people's perspectives so I guess I can sometimes yeah I'm not gonna make this video too much longer because I can go on on to some other kind of topic from there so I think I will start to close it down but thank you so much for watching this video and let me know if you like this okay